It all begins with D N A. Deoxyribonucleic acid. That beautiful double helix, the secret of life, the secret of photo 51 and Rosalind Franklin. Four bases in sequence. Adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine. Adenine, guanine, cytosine. With a sweet sugar coating, a backbone, not where you'd expect it, strongly supporting from deep inside, but no, on the outside, two of them running in parallel motion. And inside, the bases are weaving. Three of them coding trinucleotide units called codons. Computing, coding, Messaging, computing, coding, messaging. A beautiful string of pearls. A chain of 20 amino acids, ordered and numbered. A chain of 20 amino acids, ordered and numbered, folding and shaping, making each type of protein, creating a structure for each special function. Each shape must fit exactly into its profile to function precisely as needed. No square pegs in round holes. No duodecahedron can fit its flat faces inside rows of hexagonal spaces. No, proteins are cleverly prescribed. The exquisite origami of living cells. Each making a match to their everyday, extraordinary, exceptional functions. Proteins, the essentials of life. We need to eat them too, of course. I hope you eat enough chicken, fish, nuts, tofu, quinoa, cheese, and humans. I hope you don't eat those. <laughs> Proteins, um, yes, they, they, they're more than just nourishment. <clears throat> essential for life, uh, essential for living, for keeping our bodies working and thriving. That line of coding from DNA to protein, making shapes that help us digest our food with chemical reactions, or presenting as warriors, antibodies valiantly fighting off viruses, Maintaining the structure of hair, skin and nails. Um, helping muscles contract, grow and relax. And many are hormones. Well, we certainly need those. Proteins fold into patterns. Repeating, 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 repeating into patterns. Keeping things repeating, going. Repeating, repeating, everywhere. Our repeating, feet, repeating, our hands, repeating, our stomachs repeating, and heads. But what happens when things go wrong? What if they should be found to misfold, create the wrong shape that won't fit anywhere, that must make its own place? Some tiny proteins, rogues in the pack, receive the wrong code, so instead of forming fantastical structures, they stick and fix to each other. So hard to see assembling themselves, so hard to find, making oligomers. Oligomers, killers of cells, bad apple, rotting and sticking fast, a stodgy cluster, growing and building a ladder of threads of strands of fibres, stretching, extending, until it becomes a fine cross beater rope ladder of amyloid fibres, amyloid fibrils, threads wound under a microscope. They group into amyloid plaques with no inscriptions for heroes but prisons for oligomers, holding them fast in their stony mass. And inside, the killers wait. 
oligomers, killers of cells. Causing many diseases. Oligomers, killers of cells. Cells in our bodies. Cells in our brains. Look out! In the brain, if an amyloid plaque is made up of a protein named amyloid beta... Yes, I know that's confusing, so I'll say it again. In the brain, if an amyloid plaque, a structure you'll recognise, is stuck in your teeth, full of amyloid fibrils and outside the cells, is made up of a protein named amyloid beta, well then, you're in trouble on Alzheimer's ground. Look out! In the brain, if a tangle of fibres is made up of a protein named tau, yes, I know that's confusing, so I'll say it again. In the brain, if a tangle of fibres formed of pairs of helical threads and lurking inside the cells is made up of a protein named tau, well, then you're in trouble on Alzheimer's ground. Two things to look out for in Alzheimer's. Two Pathological hallmarks of death. Those amyloid plaques and tangles of fibres, neurofibrillar tangles, to be more precise, betray the presence of brain disease. But why is it there? Genetics. Down's syndrome. Or just getting older. Losing your memory. Your capacity to learn as your hippocampus is eaten away, leaving holes where you keys and your socks once resided. Our brains all have amyloid beta inside, but what of those toxic, repulsive wee oligomers? It's still to be proven, you know, that they are quite that deadly. Not proven, the verdicts could be. Some folk with Alzheimer's have amyloid plaques, but there are people whose amyloid plaques are benign. And what if it forms very early in life? Would you want a test for it? Say, just five? A mystery remains. Misfolding is slowly unfolding, surely, steadily, step by step. The mysterious misfolding proteins are giving their secrets away.